Google Apps Script makes it really easy to send emails from your script itself. There's two options. There's the Gmail app and there's the Mail app. So those are both different services. We're going to be taking a look at them. They're very similar and they both have the send mail method within them. The difference between the Gmail app and the Mail app is just the scope of permissions that you're providing. The Gmail app provides the entire permissions to interact with your Gmail service, whereas the Mail app only allows you to send an email. So this is a lighter and less permission-based scope method that you can do to send emails. And both of these will do the same thing where it's sending out the email to the recipient, has a subject, and then a message within the email body. This lesson we're going to be sending an email using the Gmail app service. So go ahead and create your brand new script. We're using a standalone script and then give the function a name. So this function I'm just going to call my sender and it's going to be sending the email. So first of all we need some variables and one that we're going to need is going to be the recipient email. So this is the address that you're going to be sending it to. And in this case, I'm going to be using my own email address. It could be also the same one that I'm sending it out of. But I'm going to add in the plus 10 so that we can have an alias and distinguish between the two email addresses. The second parameter that we're going to need is going to need a subject. So we can just type in any subject. And in this case, I'm just going to be using hello world. And then the last part that we need is a message. So this is going to be the body of the message that we're sending out. So we need to populate whatever we want as the body, and this is going to be a string value. So we just type in whatever message that we want in the body. And then the last part is using the Gmail app service and select the send mail. And then we enter in the recipient, the subject, and the message. And those are the parameters that we enter in to that method. Let's go ahead and click run and we'll see what happens. So we need to accept permissions the first time that we are running and the script uses the Gmail service to send an email to a specified recipient with a given subject and message. You can call the function from any other part of the script as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to see what we've got within our inbox. So going over to the inbox and there's the message that was just sent the message, the subject, and the email address that it went out to. And the other email addresses, this is going to be the sending email address and the default email address from the Google Apps Script account that I'm using to create the script from. Let's also look at using the Mail App service. So the Gmail App service interacts with your Gmail account, but if the only thing that you want to do is send an email, you can also use the Mail App service. And this is going to be a lighter service. It can use the same parameters that we did within the Gmail app and also has the option to send email. So just as we did with the Gmail app. So if all you want to do is send an email address, you can go ahead and just use the send mail. And the mail app uh, object is also uppercase. So let's go ahead and save that and then we'll run the second one. And we have to accept different permissions for it because it's using a different service it's not using the Gmail app service, it's using the mail app service, which is this one here where it can only send emails as you. And the difference between the Gmail is that the Gmail can read, compose, send, and permanently delete emails from your Gmail address. So the permissions are different scopes, and that's why we have to accept permissions as well for the other one. So now we go back to our inbox. We've got the security alert, and there's the email that just came in from the mail app service. 